Greetings and welcome to Tomorrow's World webcast. My name is Wallace Smith. It's very good to have you here. And this is, I, I love this kind of news item. It, it's frustrating to me, but I enjoy reading these kinds of things. It's, it's science oriented. Though I admit the individual that's at the heart of this, I find his public pronouncements personally very irritating. But it's a good article. This actually comes out of Business Insider, though you may have seen this particular news item from a, a variety of different sources. The title here with Business Insider, April 22nd, is Neil deGrasse Tyson thinks there's a, quote, very high chance the universe is just a simulation. Ah, so where in the world was this discussion going on, and, and who is Neil deGrasse Tyson? If you've watched the internet at all, or uh, have watched any popular science programs, you may have seen uh, Dr. Tyson. He's, uh, I would call him a very popular popularizer, I think I can say it that way, of science out there in the public these days. Uh, and this discussion took place at the 2016 Isaac Asimov Memorial Debate. And they were discussing the question whether or not the universe is a simulation. Now what does that mean by simulation? Maybe some of you have played games like Minecraft or any kind of computer game in which you have people walking around in a world and clearly the world's not real, it's right there on your computer. But there is this growing sense in the minds of some that our universe itself might be a simulation, that we're not living in a real world in a sense, that we're just in a sense like in a giant computer of some sort. And these kinds of thoughts are coming from big time scientists and physicists and, uh, and atheists, I would, I would stress, especially for the sake of this particular comment. Uh, let me just jump into the middle of the article here where they say, that uh, they say, but most physicists and philosophers agree that it's impossible to prove definitively that we don't live in a simulation and that the universe is real. Tyson, speaking of Dr. Tyson, Tyson agrees, but says he wouldn't be surprised if we were to find out somehow that someone else is responsible for the universe or for our universe. Now, Part of why that's newsworthy, though I'm sure people say, ah, you know, you, uh, you bumbling fool, you have no idea what you're talking about, is that also Dr. Tyson is one of those who's really out front up there uh, in terms of cameras and interviews, saying how science in no way justifies the belief in a creator, you know, and that, that faith is a bunch of nonsense. Uh, anyway, let me just read a larger part here from the end of the article. They point out, Tyson uses a thought experiment to imagine a life form that's as much smarter than us as we are than dogs, chimps, or other terrestrial animals. What would we look like to them? We would be drooling, blithering idiots in their presence, he says. Whatever that being is, it is very well, sorry, it very well might be able to create a simulation of the universe. Then back to Tyson's quote, and if that's the case, it is easy for me to imagine that everything in our lives is just the creation of some other entity for their entertainment, Tyson says. I'm saying the day we learn that it is true, I will be the only one in the room saying I'm not surprised. Wow, uh, boy, without going into the, into the philosophy and the, uh, some of the nonsense of some of these statements and how there actually is uh, a concept of uh, uh, basically proper beliefs and other things, that's, that's a whole other discussion. Let me just go ahead and uh, address Dr. Tyson directly, just in case he happens to be watching. Uh, Dr. Tyson, yes, absolutely. Concerning the creator of the universe, you, I, all of us watching this video together, all of us, we are essentially drooling, blithering idiots in their presence. He thinks of us better than that, thankfully, however that is the case. Uh, the Bible talks about a creator of this universe. It says that his thoughts are higher than our, our thoughts, like the heaven is higher above the earth. Uh, in fact, actually, uh, Psalm 147 and verse 5 has one of my favorite simple statements about the power of the mind that created the universe. Psalm 147 verse 5 says, Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding is infinite. It is truly infinite. Why is it that some of these atheistic scientists, or as some will say agnostic scientists, will not be open to the idea of a creator or an intelligent designer if that creator or intelligent designer 
fits the mold of God, but they're open if it's something else, if it's someone else. And I'm not trying to talk about Dr. Tyson specifically in his particular positions. You can go search YouTube and search the internet for those and let him speak for himself. I don't want to claim to speak for him. But I do know that it's a trend I see more and more. I've seen it in comments by Richard Dawkins. I've seen it in comments from a variety that they can be very open to the idea that the universe is some kind of simulation, uh, that there's some greater being, some more intelligent being that's designed all this. But the idea that they would be morally responsible to such a being, uh, that they would owe that being anything for their lives, that I have seen pushed away. I guess what I'm saying is, when you see a scientist or a physicist or, or scientist in general, someone saying there, that there's no room in what we understand for some kind of creator or some kind of intelligent designer, understand that is not the case. You do have atheists and agnostic scientists saying that they are open to the idea of a creator or an intelligent designer. It just seems they're really only open to the kind that they're comfortable with. Um, but the creator is not someone who gives us the option to be comfortable with him or not. He's someone to be worshipped, loved, and obeyed. And if anything, told thank you uh, for the lives that he has given us. Thanks for watching. Please check out everything else we have available at tomorrowsworld.org.